Hi everyone, today I am going to be doing the last harvest out of the garden for the year. It is December right now and our fall garden has done really well this year. I still don't think we've really had to go to the store to buy anything, at least for like 90% of our vegetables. So I'm really happy with how far we've been able to garden into the year. And it has gotten pretty cold here. A lot of nights are under freezing now and I think the coldest it's been is maybe about like 18 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason I wanna harvest a lot of the stuff out of the garden today is that I've started noticing a little bit of cold damage on some things. So I wanna grab as much out of the garden as I can before it gets too damaged so that none of it goes to waste. So we're gonna go around today and try and grab as much as possible and we'll see what we end up with. Here's a little look around the garden. Most of it is empty right now and I've started cleaning out some of the beds. So I've cleaned out the pepper bed and the tomato bed and you can see our garlic doing really well here. In this bed, I have Brussels sprouts and cilantro. The cilantro has done really, really well. It is not protected by any frost fabric or anything and it's still looking amazing. I think I might leave this for today because if it survived 18 degree weather and is still looking good, I think we can keep this out here for a little while longer. My Brussels sprouts plants have been doing okay. They're definitely not ready to harvest and I don't know if they're going to develop quickly enough for me to get anything. You can see that some of them are starting to form some little sprouts on here, but I just don't know that they have enough time before the cold will damage them. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna leave these here for now, but nothing to pick from them yet. Some of our chickens keep getting out and they keep picking at this one plant on the edge, so it's looking really tattered. In the back two beds, I definitely have some stuff to pick today. This little bunch of greens here, these are all kohlrabi plants. And then on the other side, I have some root vegetables. I have turnips and radishes. You can see that for these plants, the greens have really been affected. They are pretty much all dead from the cold, but I think the actual roots will be okay. So I'll pull those up. Hopefully they're not too cold damaged inside. Um, and I'll just pull them out before they can get damaged anymore. In the kohlrabi bed, this is the one major kohlrabi that I really wanted to grab. The other ones just didn't really form good bulbs. I think I might just leave these here for now because once you cut off like that tough exterior, there won't be too much in there. So I'll leave these for now, see if they get any bigger, but this one is definitely ready to harvest today. In this back area, in a few beds, I have some more root vegetables in here, so I have to go through and kind of see what I have. In this bed, I know I left some carrots. I'm not sure if they are big or not, but I'll go through and see what I get. So there's a little guy right there. And then I also have some daikon radish as well. 
that I want to pick. So you can see how that has started to get a little bit of frost damage over there. So I'm going to try and salvage what I can. Here are some more daikon radishes. That one looks perfectly fine. So hopefully at least a few of them are going to be good. And then there's another bed back there where I also have some carrots, I believe. Some of these carrots are too small to really bother with, but there's some okay sized ones in there. I think this is a smaller variety anyway, which is probably why they're smaller. But this daikon radish is a pretty nice size underneath the soil. So anything that was above is a little bit damaged, but anything that was underneath the soil, the soil kind of like insulated it. So that part is probably still pretty good. These are the carrots I got from the back bed, and I can't remember what variety this is, but it must have been a different variety because some of these are fatter than the ones from the other bed. Still a little bit on the small side, but that's okay. And next I'm going to go through this row, which I have some more heads of cabbage and some cauliflower that I want to get out. I've already harvested some cabbage to make sauerkraut and just to like stir fry which I've shown and those are probably the biggest heads that I'll get out of here but I definitely still have a couple left in here so there's a couple that one's looking really big so yeah excited to go through those and I know I have some cauliflower as well not like the biggest cauliflower heads but I've never grown cauliflower successfully before so I'm pretty happy with that so here you can see um, it started to get a little bit yellow. That's more from exposure to light, I believe. But if there's like any kind of like browning, I think that's from it getting a little bit too cold. You can see the actual plants really don't look good. The greens are pretty much dead from cold. But I think the actual cauliflower 
will be good. But since this is my first time successfully growing cauliflower, I definitely want to grab these out of the ground because it would be quite a shame if I finally grow these okay and then they just end up getting too damaged for us to eat them. So some of them are definitely really tiny, like this one is puny, but I'll take it and hopefully it will just keep getting better from here as I continue trying to grow this in the future. Then in the other bed, I'll probably also grab some Totsoi greens. You can see the outer layers are getting a little damaged, but the inner part looks pretty good. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna pull the whole plant or just take like the outer leaves. Actually, this one looks like it's starting to bolt. So this one, I'll probably grab the entire plant. You can see that our red cabbage did not really form anything. And then I've got another red cabbage plant here, well, a couple and they haven't really formed heads but there's not much to harvest today either so i'll probably just leave these give them a chance and see if they develop some heads with a little bit more time Here is what I picked from these back rows. I've got two really beautiful heads of cabbage here. I also picked some of the outer leaves that we can just stir fry just because they looked really good. So I figured we might as well not waste them. And you can just cook those like you would regular cabbage. This Totsoi that I picked is so gorgeous. And once I picked it out of the ground, it was so much bigger <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. It's very very beautiful and large hopefully the flavor is not 
too changed from it starting to bolt but it is just in the like really early stages so I'm hoping that'll be fine and then here are the little mini heads of cauliflower that I picked like I mentioned some of them do have frost damage so that's a little unfortunate but now I know for next time to pick these before it gets probably below like 20 degrees maybe even a little higher since I wasn't sure how much cold they could tolerate I didn't get to them in time but next time I'll know better but I'm pretty happy with that for not having ever grown a head of cauliflower before. So yeah, pretty good harvest, I think. I also picked an entire bucket of just like the outer greens, the ones that don't look so good. These are going to go to the chickens. They are going to absolutely love them. They really love anything that's in like the brassica family. And they will devour this entire bucket of greens in like 10 minutes. Well, here is the final harvest that I ended up with. I have the cabbage and cauliflower I just showed you, as well as our nice purple kohlrabi, this big head of tatsoi, and then we have a nice basket of different root vegetables. We've got daikon radish, china rose radish, and some carrots, and purple top turnips. So a nice little medley of root vegetables that will be great for roasting. I think this daikon radish, I'm going to make like a Chinese braised beef and daikon radish recipe with these. So I'm super happy with how much we were still able to harvest from the garden in December. I think this harvest is a nice way to kind of like finish off this gardening season. As I showed you, there are still like a couple of things here and there out in the garden. So we'll keep working on those, but I thought that this would be a nice last harvest video for the year. If you've been following along with us for the entire year, thank you so much. It's been really fun to share this year's garden with you guys. I'm ready to take a little bit of a break this winter and we still have a little bit of cleanup to do, but then we're just gonna kind of lay low for a few months and soon enough it's gonna be time to start getting ready for next year's garden. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.